Hallelujah. How many of us believe that God's word is so powerful? I'd like to remind you that this 21 days fasting and prayer is a sacred feast. It's a sacred feast. A feast where we come to seek nothing but God. Where we come to seek nothing but God's presence. Where we come to seek nothing but God's power. And I want to assure you that the target of God in these 21 days is to handle your barriers. Amen. Are you hearing me? There is a place a man and a woman will find themselves and then the barriers will become history. Because for barrier to be broken, the barrier will be identified. Is that okay? Any problem you cannot discover is probably you will never solve. Every barrier has a name. And there is always a name that can handle every barrier. Every barrier carries a spirit. And there's a spirit that can contain and deal with the spirit behind your barrier. It takes a superior spirit to contain and confront the spirit behind the barrier. I see the spirit of your barrier fall down. Jesus boasted and he said, come let's go. I saw Satan fall like lightning. I saw Satan fall like lightning. At another time he said, I saw Satan come, but he has nothing in me. Praise God. One thing I want to assure you is that every article and properties of the devil in your life must be given out. Come on over here. And then the power in the blood of Jesus will rise up. And when the power in the blood of Jesus rises up, every time they are contesting against you shall be destroyed. Lift your hands to heaven. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. One of the major origin of barrier is the heart of man. If the barrier does not have access to your heart, it cannot have a hold on your life. If the barrier you give an access that is going to confront and hold your life. So permit me this morning or this night to attempt to reset your mind and free your mind and release your authority so that when you start praying you start praying like a liberated woman like a liberated man that God is ready to lift up how many of you are ready for your miracles I see your miracle does does swiftly land in your hands in the name of Jesus Therefore, Father, thank you for this first day in partition of the 2024 21 days fasting and prayer in this commission. We thank you for that edition of last year. And we thank you for all you did. We thank you for the monumental miracles and exploits. And we thank you because this year is going to be greater, better, higher in manifestation than any other year in history i like you to have your way lord have your way in the life of my sons and daughters in you and let your name be glorified in jesus mighty name now sit down and permit me to talk to you like a father and just feel free no distraction no movement just sit on your seat take your barrel and just take documentations now just take your record or type on your phone praise god uh, i'm going to take you to a, towards a passage the reason the greatest reason for the exploit of jesus was his capacity to understand his identity and his mission 
Did you hear me? His capacity to understand to understand his identity and his mission. Two things you must seek to know. Your identity and your mission. If you don't know who you are in Christ, the devil will tell you who you are and where you are in him. Are you hearing me? Now, Jesus knew he was a son. And he was able to discover the right of sonship. As a son, I have a right. He was able to discover that he has a right to inheritances of his father. Somebody are you here? He has a right to the authority of his father. He has a right to the power of his father. Am I talking to people? How many things have I said to you now? You are right here. He decided to know that one day was a son. And as a son, he had the right to the inheritance of his father. And two of those inheritances are power and authority which the father has. So he has a right to the authority and to the power that is domicile only to the father. Only sons can spend what the fathers have. Are you hearing me? So he decided to serve his father. My God. Do I have a witness in the house? He decided to do what? Because he knew that his father was in inheritance. In his father was his authority. In his father was his power. He decided to serve his father unconditionally. Are you getting somewhere? How many of you want to break barrier? I, I, I remember Exodus 23, 25 saying, and if you serve me, you remember those blessings? Exodus 23, 25, if you serve me, I will bless your bread. I will bless your water. I will take away miscarriages from you. I will take away barrenness from you. And I will make your name a terror. If you serve me. No wonder his name became a terror. Come on over here. If you are going to break a barrier tied to any name, you need to identify with a name that has the answer to break those barriers. And that name is Jesus. Someone shout Jesus. Jesus. I need your response tonight. I've told you if you're not with pain, type on your phone. Download what I'm saying. Just be the right person. Because something is about to happen in your life in this season. Boss went to market yesterday preparing us for Uganda and they bought a book. That book says, Go preach and heal. Go preach and heal. So this afternoon I decided to take one of the book. And as I opened the book, the author of the book said, I dedicate this book to my spiritual parents. And so when I opened inside the book, I saw the comment of the spiritual parents. Alright? The father in the Lord has written on that uh, title in the time to pass. And they have served them for about 40 something years. And so when they retired, they handed over the work to him. Are you here? And then when he decided to upgrade on the book, he also begin to build on where the spiritual parent stopped service that book has made him a millionaire not because of him but because of the connection and service are you hearing me 
You don't become somebody because you want to be somebody. You become somebody by reasons of your grace connection. What do I say to it? Did you hear that grammar? Grace connection. I, I said this in January. That this is going to be a year of grace connection. So it's going to be a year of connecting values by virtues. Connecting what is available so that you can begin to manifest your content. If you are not creating content within you through service, you are going to amount to nothing. I said to myself in the office, boss and my daughter that always go to buy me these beautiful books, does he read these books? Praise God. And this was a, a concern for my heart. God can use you to promote a, a good channel of um, value without connecting your life to it. Now I'm mentioning your name. But the question is, do you know the content? So Jesus, having where his position as a son, decided that the only way he can have a right to the inheritance is to serve his father. Oh my God, are you here? Do I have been one of you who is ready to serve Jesus this year? He said, if I, if, if I will serve the father as a father, I will have access to his inheritance. I will take possession of the, of the inheritance that I have in him, which are every good thing you can think about. Every good thing you can think about, including joy and peace, prosperity, money. Okay? Prosperity, money. We're saying in the afternoon when one of us was leaning on, say, of, of no reputation. Uh, is that English clear in your Bible? Please come with me. Read with me. He did what? If, if, if you are not a suspect, can you read it? He, he, what does he mean to make himself of no reputation? He, he made himself nobody in his own eyes. Come on, are you here? When you start telling people what you are worth, you are bragging. Allow them to identify what you are worth in their sight. Are we here? Now, there are two things I know that follows Christians. Glory. Are we here? And power. Glory and power. Now, another thing that follows them is honor. Honor. So we have glory, we have power, we have honor. And they mean three things. Glory means value. Someone say value. I'm a carrier of value. I carry content. I don't have a... Oh my God. If, if I have a microphone on my hand and I'm talking and there's no sound, it means that the content of what I have in my hand is empty and worthless. Praise God. What makes you worthy is your content. Do I have a witness? Now, your content is your intelligence. Intelligent. The other day I was writing that everybody knows how to go to school, how to cook, how to sleep, how to ride a car. But they have not given their mind to learn how to live. So, glory talks about value. God is a value creator. And when he had begotten you, he made you an extension of himself. In case you have forgotten, you are a value carrier. Come on, are you here? And the value you are carrying is a brand. Oh my God. Tony, are you here? The value you are carrying is what? A brand. A brand is something that makes you unique. Can I hear someone say, I am unique? Jesus decided to become a brand. He decided to be unique. The Bible said, he didn't come to be like every other person. He made himself of no reputation. So it was a brand carrying value. 
if you are not a suspect can i hear someone here say i am a value carrier there's content in my spirit i have intelligence in my spirit i am not ordinary i am an extension of jesus amen the second one is power what is power power is influence men of power don't make noise they don't make unnecessary arguments are you still here power is influence you, you know you you are you you announce yourself wherever you are because you are instructed as you are inspired i was driving to the office this morning i was just concluding things about uganda yesterday and driving to the office and i had the holy spirit say it, it is time to conclude ghana i doubted it but i began to process it in my heart by the time i send it out i got a call from one of the towns in the north we have already preserved this date for you for this year the hall is ready the hotel is ready just come with your tea all right that is how god works the timing the season is programmed in the spirit so sometimes you want to move like apostle you need to begin to understand that the dynamics okay of culture of the spirit that regulates a man's life and this movement jesus was never intimidated by power neither ever troubled by power he did not recognize witchcraft he did not recognize marine he did not blame anything around his ministry on anyone all he knew is that i am here to do the will of god and he that sent me is with me always he was so sure he was so conscious he was so mindful of what is carrying a man carrying power doesn't tremble at powers come on yeah and so when he came to the 12 disciples he told them he said listen you are not following an empty content i give you power and authority whatever your bind shall be bound whatever you lose shall be loose he was telling them to receive what is carrying you are carrying something in these 21 days everything pursuing your destiny to waste it it shall be wasted i have a witness in the house someone say i am carrying power shout it like you manage jump on your feet and shout i am carrying power somebody shout i am full of power by the spirit of god i am full of power i am full of power by the spirit of god i am full of power by the spirit of god be seated very shortly we start praying listen he made himself of no reputation what was the third one honor i told you about honor honor is respect honor is what jesus enjoyed respect I, I never read in the bible i never read in the bible even if he was insulted he never recognized the, the insult come on over here christians at this age who still recognize insult are not yet christians are we here you may not understand it but that's the truth jesus came to build a relationship between you and your creator so that you will mind this world less and mind what you are carrying more come on are we here it was so important that jesus said that whosoever said to his to his neighbor you raka shall be in danger of hell fire that is the extent at which jesus wanted to you to know that power has rules are we here every power depending on the source we earn respect and if the power is more high the creation will respect it come on are we here stop being intimidated by things that have already been, 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 been declared 
to be under your feet. Are we here? Where is insult? Under my feet. If they insult you, it's because they don't know who you are. I was in a place and some, some young men were ranting. Ranting. I think that was my village. And then I saw two young men just came up. I said, Is it apostle you are talking to? If I were you, I would need them to beg him. It just in my argument on culture and values, or that I try to correct them. I want to say, who are you to talk to us? I said, nothing. And before I knew it, they have to enforce them to need them so that I could pray for them. Praise God. Are you hearing me? If you can start recognizing what you are carrying, you will start living. Many life I am seeing is not life. Are you here? I don't have a limitation. No, I don't have a boundary. Somebody was asking me, will you go to that town where Florence will be buried? I said, why not? I said, these bad boys are on that side. Though. I said, do you know the kind of bad forces that I'm carrying here? Okay? And I told my friend, I said, you are coming with me. He said, do you need my car? I said, yes. By that morning, he said, I'm washing my car. I said, I don't need your car. I have a car. Just come. Why the guy didn't know? His car was bigger. Okay? Stronger. But then, it will eat me more fuel. I have a smaller car that I'm sure of. Praise God. How we went with the car? We kept, I was going to go this night, this nine o'clock. I said, I will not sleep here. We sleep in a sofa. We got there. I call my wife, we're home. Come on over here. Listen to me. Until you wake up to recognize that he that is in you is greater than they that are insulting you, you will not come out of the insult. How many people would you reply? How many people did Jesus reply? He knew whom he was. And he knew that what was in him and what is in him is enough to earn him respect. Praise God. Honor is respect. From today, can I say this to you? Where you have been disrespected, where you've been denied respect by the power that commissioned dominion get, respect shall be restored to your life. Respect restored to your house, restored to your family. Restore to your marriage. Listen to me. Anything insulting your destiny, insulting your identity, it shall come under your fear. In the name of Jesus, the power of God shall rise for you. And the anointing of God shall restore to you. Respect. Someone say, respect. If you have, if you have come and start saying, don't you know I'm the son of God? Don't you know I'm carrying the authority of God? Don't you know I'm carrying the power of God? It would, never would have lasted one minute. The Bible says, he made himself of no reputation. He silenced his content and allowed the content to speak. Be on the right track. Be the right person. Make the right push. Desire the right thing. Obey the word of God as the word of God. And allow God to drive your life. You've driven your life enough. Allow God to be your driver. How many of you know here that God offered to be your free driver? Okay? And took upon him the form of a servant. No matter your size, as long as you are a servant, you are subject to your master. Do you understand this? Though he was equal with God, he made himself of no reputation. But took upon himself 
the form of a server. He said to the father, I've come to serve. I've come to do your will. That is where the power to break your barriers are. Come on over here. Servant. Servant. That's what the church is looking for now. Church has had so many masters. Masters are people that live and do their own will. Not his own will. Are you here? And you should be tired of that status now. It is no manner for you to know. If Jesus is our, our Lord, Lord, and the Bible says, he, he, you know, to them that receive him, what happened to them? He gave power, all right? To them that receive him, John 1, 12, he gave power to become his son, even to them that believe in his name. Come on, are we here? So he took the form of a servant, and the Bible says, and was made in the likeness of man. Let me explain to you. Not in the likeness of angels. Do you understand this? Now, if it were an angel, angel cannot save you. Though they are spirits. But Jesus took the likeness of man, okay, in order to be qualified for the sacrifice. So he became the sacrifice so that you wouldn't need any other sacrifice. Come on, somebody, are you here? So he became a man and became lesser than the angel. Okay? So that he can suffer death and pay the last sacrifice once and for all. He became a man. You know, and I told you years back, so that the man, you and I, can become God. Are you here? Only God can bind a thing and restore, and it will be bound. And only God can lose a thing and it will be loose. Matthew 18 18, put it on the screen. When Jesus was prophesying, he said, This is what I am set to achieve for humanity. I am set to confer upon humanity authority. Somebody say authority. Because you are leaving this meeting with an authority. You are leaving this meeting with an authority. You are going back to your house with an authority. You are going back to your office with an authority. Whatsoever I trouble your life up with all this year, they are coming under your feet. By tomorrow morning, wherever whatever your trade are, when you enter there, they will see a light of glory upon your life. You will be manifesting the content that God is releasing right now. Somebody, are you here? I say here. Okay. Now, Matthew 18, 18. Do I have somebody there? Verily, I say unto you, verily. The word verily means assuredly. Don't doubt it. I say unto you, whatever you shall bind on earth, which means you are going to change form. You are going to change nature. You are going to change identity. You are going to change your status. You are going to switch over, okay, to the supernatural realm. You are going to be seen like human, but you are going to become God-man. Somebody say God-man. Do you know what God-man means? God-man is a man with God's conscience. God-man is what? A man carrying God's conscience. So he thinks like God. He feels like God. He act like God. He reason like God. And they begin to support you, God. A time is coming that whatever you will bind, like I would have bind it, you will be acting as if I am there. Are you here? You become a true representative. You become my ambassador. Whatever you will buy, someone shall. Whatever I will buy, shall be bound. That's the word of God. Free authority. But these are condition to your identity. The dead fish will leave the water and say he want to come to the house to see to eat a bar. That's the day he saw being fish. There's little things that makes your life count, and that have to do with your nature. So I am going to believe that in these 21 days you are going to be revived. Your prayer life will be revived. Your authority will be revived. 
your influence will be revived. Whatever you buy will be bound. You begin to see results like you have never had. So whatever you will buy, anything you don't like, anything that is forced on you, anything that you are not sure of, and you say, I don't want it, and you bind it with your mouth, because you are sure of your identity, what will happen to it? It will be bound in heaven. It means that from now, the heaven and the earth will be in agreement concerning you. And I am praying for people here today. You know what I said to you? Because of this meeting, where the heaven and the earth are disagree concerning your life, they will come into an agreement. The heaven is far above the earth, and the heaven command and control the earth. From today, hear the word of the Lord. The heaven and the earth shall come into an agreement concerning your life. I did they hear living amen? And what they say next? And whatsoever you shall lose on the earth shall be loose in heaven. I don't know what have been tied. Never to enter your hand. Tied. Never to connect your leg. Tied. Never to enter your body. Tied. By witchcraft, by wickedness. They shall be loosed. That's the authority. He recognized that the authority was with the father. So he decided to serve the father. So he can shear from the authority. Are you hearing me? I know you will be ready to be a servant. Ready to be a servant. Let me explain. Go back to Philippians chapter 2. Let me round up. So we start praying. Somebody is going to pray through here. And he said so many barriers that are going to be broken. You are not carrying anything home. You are going to break them here. And God is going to go with you. Hallelujah. I saw... He took the likeness of a man so that he can also help man to know how to live for God. You remember when he lived here, though he was a man, he was God man. Are we here? Showing that when you are insulted, behave yourself. When you are accused for doing what you did not do, behave yourself. Are you hearing me? When they persecute you for doing nothing. The Bible says in Isaiah, he uttered not a word. The fact that you try to defend yourself sometimes does not matter. How verse 8? Verse 8, Philippians chapter 2, verse 8. And being found in fashion as a man, what happened to him? He humbled himself and became obedient unto death, the sacrifice. Obedient unto what? That is the sacrifice. He came to die. He came to die in order to abolish death. First Corinthians 15 verse 25 said, And he must reign until he had brought all things under his feet. He must reign. And verse 26 said, And the last enemy that shall be conquered is death. Alright? So he know that death was the most dangerous threat of the enemy to humanity and the bible says he chose to die for you for me and the man that had died will not die again come on i hear so he came and took the punishment died for you and i are we here seven so if you are going to follow god if whatever happens to you that was why we celebrated florence she was a woman that had a lot of cross. She carried a lot of cross. But the cross did not interject with her identity. I didn't hear anyone say she, she was owing me. I didn't hear anyone say she abused me. She would just be quiet. Sometimes cried inside. I said, oh, that's why she died. She died at her time. Praise God. Now, unto death. Even the death of the cross, the death he did not deserve. And what happened when he died because of time? Verse 9. Wherefore, in modern English, he said, Therefore, God also had highly exalted him and given him. You are not seeing what I'm seeing. 
I'm giving him what? Which is above every name. Verse 10. Look at what this name is going to do. The exploit of the name. The exploit of the name. The exploit of the name. That at the name of Jesus. I love this. Are we together? Number one. Every nail dash barrier shall that at the name of Jesus what will happen? Sure must amplify. It's not negotiable. At the name God exalted him and gave him an authority and placed authority on his name. Number two, in heaven, all right, every, every power and forces in the heaven, witches, wizards, courtesy that flies in third and second heaven, people that go to tie people's destiny and feel that they are in command and in control. And then number three, and on the earth, Babalawos, Habalis. Whatever name you call them, Maren, under the head. Verse 11, what will happen? And every tongue, frankly and openly, confess and acknowledge that Jesus is Lord. To the glory of God the Father. To the glory of God the Father. Somebody shout, Jesus! Time did, not, time did not permit me to explain some things to you. But I would like you to know that in Genesis, when God gave man dominion, he said, God, God commissioned the man and blessed him. Genesis 1.28, let me show you there. Okay, let me show you that the content of Genesis 1.28 as it was restored in Genesis in, um, in Philippians 2, verse 10. And I say, and God blessed them and said, to them be fruitful am i saying something to someone so what was what was god's expectation for the first man to be fruitful and he said continue to multiply fruitfulness multiply means don't just only be fruitful one day and one spot you will make continuous consistent progress come on out here and feel the earth then in case when you're expanding and the challenges subdue the barriers. Come on out here. Now, the Bible says here, using all his vast resources in the service of God and man and her dominion. Look at the dominion. Three tiers. Dominion over where? Over the fish of the sea. That is where? Beneath. The best of the air. That is what? Heavenly. And over every creeping creature. That is what? The earth. So dominion here, okay, before the advent of Jesus, was to reign and rule over. Then in Philippians, the word dominion means Jesus. The word dominion means what? Yes. And God gave him a name that is above every name in the heavenless, on the on the earth, or beneath the earth. So that is the New Testament dominion. Someone say, I receive my New Testament dominion. That's the set of the gospel. That's my message for this first impartation. And by the authority in the name of Jesus, we are breaking every barrier, every confrontational barrier every barrier that is not making you not to live like a Christian. It is a time to become a Christian. It is a time to begin to enjoy power. It is a time to begin to run. Rest to your feet. Rest to your feet. And go ahead and begin to give God thanks. Say, Lord, I receive. Nane alene 
maya gada bazundege eka baragada gada gaya gada ha malenda rabaga sata paya gada ya iragada gara baranda rabada yegedege gada gada badusa gada ya iragaga gaga gaga daraga gaga gaga eka pata ramana basu kapa yekata ramana pagata ya gada irabando sabagada ya gada gaya ilagaga basu leba lana na I like you to begin to express yourself before the word of the Lord. I want you to begin to express yourself. Are you giving your life right now to Jesus? Are you repenting of your shortcomings? Are you saying, Lord, I come before you. Have mercy upon me. I come before you. Forgive me. I come before you. Help me. And let go all that you are holding against me. Lord, I come before you. Have mercy on me. I dedicate my life to you. Be my Lord and my personal Savior. I dedicate my soul to you. Be my Lord and personal Savior. I dedicate my life to you. Be my Lord and personal Savior. I dedicate my life to you. Be my Lord and personal Savior. In Jesus mighty name we pray now just we have less than 10 minutes free yourself free yourself you are going to pray now in the beginning was the word right and the word was with God and the word was God the same was with God in the beginning there was nothing made that was made without him in him was life, and the light became the light of men. The light shineth in darkness, and darkness could not comprehend. I can't be a Christian and be chased up and down by powers I cannot understand. He had given, he had given him a name, and I received the one that was given the name. So I have received him, and now that I receive him, I have also received the power that was given to the name. Come on out here. If I am a Christian, I have received the power that was given to Jesus who made me a Christian. Therefore, every word outside the covenant that has attacked my life is not welcome. Somebody, I want you to pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Let me hear you shout like an army. Every spoken word upon my life that I formed a barrier in my life in the name of Jesus I command you to pray. I command you to pray. Every barrier of word, every word that I've spoken upon my life, upon your life, upon my destiny, and that's a partition. I break it. 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 I break Every war spoken and wicked, spoken by Alpha, spoken by Alcohol, which I in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Listen to me, child of God. This is your night of freedom. He became the sacrifice in order to break the power of the sacrifices. Come on, somebody, are you here? And the sacrifice in my foundation that have formed a barrier to my life. 
in the name of Jesus, I break you now. I break you now. Every sacrifice to my life, made of my foundation, by the authority in the name of Jesus, I break you. I break you. I break you. I break you. Yes, I silence your voice. I banish your voice. I destroy your voice over my life, over my heart, over my family. Whatsoever is the sacrifice, either by my father or my mother, or by two parties, in the name of Jesus, I come. In Jesus' name we pray. He made himself of no reputation. In order to deliver his mandate. But some wicked elements around us want to showcase their power. Poison innocent destiny. Block brilliant destiny. To waste the destiny. Listen. And no one who by wickedness has, has twisted your destiny and my destiny that we go down before this 21 days is over. Is somebody here? I want you to pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let every wicked agent, every wicked power that are tampered with my life be tampered with, be frustrated in the name of Jesus. I frustrate every wicked power, every wicked heart, every wicked agenda that I have, oh God, have let my life, that are tampered with my life, tampered with my heart, tampered with my destiny. I break their yoke, I break their power in the name of Jesus. Yagata, gata, gata, ekatala, ekatala, ekatala. I pray my destiny. I pray my name. I pray my business. I pray my life. I pray my children. In Yande Katusa, I Yagata Gata Gata, Egagagagagagagaga, Eragagagagagagaga, Eragagagagagaga, Eragagagagagaga, Pra Pra, in Legade Pasundalaba. And Jesus mighty name we pray. Every spirit of error. You know what they call error? Mistakes. Mistakes. Accident or call because of the spirit. To waste on life or call. Because you don't find yourself start making mistake. You just keep making mistake. You just keep making mistake. You can't know why you are making mistake. You invest wrongly. Some things that you're supposed to do, you don't find yourself doing them wrongly. Sometimes when it comes to marriage, you choose wrongly. Okay? Spirit of error is a spell. But the Bible says, and God gave him a name that is above every name. You will pray. Every spell of error, every demonic error, cast on my life. In the name of Jesus, I bind you. I cast you out of my life, out of my marriage, out of my ministry, out of our destiny, out of my business. I cast you out. I cast you out. I set you on fire. I yagada. I cast you on fire. I lag up to saya. My children shall not make error. My sisters shall not make error. My brethren shall not forfeit every error that I treaded on my path. Though it's not my destiny, I set you on fire. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Listen to me. It is your responsibility to make a choice.
children like you when you go to your work they are here standing in the gap for you they need to break their fast and we need to support them so god will bless you and you will be part of the sponsors of this 21 days fasting in jesus mighty name were you blessed all right go ahead and just do what i ask you to do